Hi, my name is Lacey Miller and I'm the Library Instruction Designer at Pikes Peak Library District in Adult Education. Today I want to show you how you can prepare for your citizenship exam using one of our databases, the Testing and Education Reference Center. The first thing that you want to do is go to our website, ppld.org. Once you're there, you'll see a menu across the top and you want to go to Research. From Research, click All Databases. This will take you to a list of all our databases, but you don't want to sift through all of them, you just want to search for one. So in the Search Databases box, type Testing and Education and click on Apply. The results that are returned show you Adult Learning Center and Testing and Education Reference Center. That's what we want to do. The next step is to use your library card and your PIN number, your four-digit PIN. Once you log in, you'll be redirected to the Testing and Education Reference Center. You'll see that there are lots of options, but today we want to hover our mouse over international so we get that little hand. And then we want to choose US citizenship. From here, you'll see the citizenship resources that are available to you with your library card. The first one is an online practice test. And then the second is an online book. When you open up the menu by clicking on this carrot. Then you can see a short description of the citizenship practice tests. And then you choose start now. This will redirect you to a Peterson's uh, page where you're going to register for an account if you need one. So you'll need to enter your first and last name, email, choose a username, password, Confirm your password and then choose security questions and then make sure that you choose sign up now. But because I already have an account, I'm going to choose sign in. And it takes me to the login page and I can submit my username and password. Here we are at the test prep site and it loads the course in your dashboard. You see here that it takes you directly to the dashboard where you can start your practice test. It tells you that there are 100 questions, that you have one hour to answer them all, and then you can start to go through this test. You can practice as many times as you want. So when you hover over this practice test, you'll see that your cursor turns into a hand, and then you can click on it to enter the practice test. This will take you to the practice test and then when you're ready to start, you just click start. And then it gives you the directions, read them, and then when you're ready, you can start the practice test. And then it's going to ask you the first question and you select your answer over here. And when you're ready to submit, then you choose confirm and you move through the test in that way. And that's how you can prepare for citizenship. If you need to pause the test, you can do so here. And then it's going to ask you if, if you want to pause or return. If you need to stop in the middle of your test, you choose pause. And it will take you back to your dashboard where you can start again later. And that's how you use the Testing and Education Reference Center to practice for your citizenship exam.